Hello, I'm Ben Domencino and this is Weather Pulse. The end of April marks the conclusion of Australia's six month tropical cyclone season and this one managed to break some records. According to the Bureau of Meteorology, there were nine tropical cyclones recorded in Australian waters during the season, which is two below the long term average. In total, seven tropical cyclones were named in Australian waters and five made landfall. Three of the first four tropical cyclones to form in Australian waters this season brought heavy rain to northern parts of Western Australia. The collective deluge brought on by Hilda, Joyce and Kelvin resulted in Broome breaking its annual rainfall record within the first two months of the year. As the season rolled on, March was an active month for tropical cyclones. It saw Linda, Marcus, Nora and Iris all form in or near Australian waters within the space of just two weeks. Severe tropical cyclone Marcus was the strongest system of the season and the most powerful tropical cyclone in Australian waters for 12 years. This intense system became a Category 5 tropical cyclone on the 21st of March and produced estimated wind gusts of up to 325 km per hour at its peak. Marcus was also the strongest tropical cyclone to affect Darwin since Tracy in 1974. The seven names given to tropical cyclones that formed in Australian waters during the season were Hilda, Irving, Joyce, Kelvin, Linda, Marcus and Nora. The next tropical cyclone to form in Australian waters will be named Owen, although it may be several months before we see this happen.